Okay, now we are on step 1C. We're going to enter the amount in the operating account check register. So we're still talking about this $25,000 transfer. So we need to find our operating account check register. Here is what the operating account check register looks like. So notice back in September, we had an $82,000 balance. So let's transfer or let's enter this transaction in here. The transaction was October 1, 2020. We don't need to put in the year because the year X1 is already up here. Check number, it, there was no check number, so that's electronic or EFT for electronic funds transfer. Um, since we're just transferring money electronically from within the company, there's no pay to the order of. And so now we need a description of this transaction. This was a transfer for October payroll. Account category, this means where did the money go to or where did the money come from? In this case, it's where did the money go to? So it's payroll, cash. And so did we, when we transfer the money out of this account, is the account going down or is it going up? Well, the account is going down by 25,000. And then if you want to do a formula in here, you would say equals the previous balance minus the withdrawal column and plus the deposit column. And you could even uh, copy that formula down if you wanted to. And now we're done with that step. So in the next step, we will post the journal entries to the general ledger.